A firefighter in Farmington is dead after a 12-hour standoff with police. Fox 13's Kirk Kunke live in Farmington with more on how the standoff ended and have police confirmed yet whether or not this guy ended up shooting and killing himself? Well, right now we're told that uh, all the information is going to go through the chief of police here. And, and as far as we know, he is not on scene this morning yet. So we're hoping once he gets here, we'll be able to get some more information. We're waiting on that. Uh, you can see us behind us, though, a police still busy. I mean, it's been almost 11 hours since uh, this thing ended last night, just after 9 o'clock. It started at 9.30 yesterday morning here at 100 North and 115 East in Farmington. Brian Wood, a volunteer firefighter uh, who lives across the street from the fire department was apparently here in the morning, had a fight with his wife, is what police told us, and fired a shot into a garbage can. Then he barricaded himself inside of his truck in his driveway next to his house. Now that's where he sat for most of the day, almost 12 hours. Police were trying to get him out of there. They used tear gas, they used, used what's known as a percussion grenade or a flash grenade. They even sent in a robot of some sort to try and help coerce him to get out of there. We're told uh, just about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock last night, he actually did get out of the truck. There was some concern that there were guns nearby and that it became some sort of threat. Now we do know just after 9 o'clock, police moved in. What exactly happened, we, we don't know yet. We have not confirmed yet. We do know at least one shot was fired. Uh, Brian Wood was taken away on a stretcher and later pronounced dead. There are reports, published reports, that he killed himself, but we have yet to confirm that with police. As, I, as I've mentioned throughout the morning, uh, police have not talked to us uh, on camera since this all happened last night. So we're hoping for some sort of update this morning, possibly some more insight to, into exactly what happened. Nonetheless, police still continue to pick apart this scene. Like I said, it's been uh, almost 11 hours since this all played out last night, so obviously they have a lot of details to figure out and a lot of things they want to make sure they, they know before or uh, I suppose they talk to us. Hopefully we'll have more information later today and on Fox 13's Live at 11. Dan, Nineveh? All right, thanks, Kirk.